Yo, what's up? Yeah, today I want to share, want to teach you how to speak more powerfully in English, especially for Asians. Yeah, if you are from Asia, you probably heard a lot of people saying the Westerners they speak, they use their lungs to speak, they use their breath to speak, and Asian people use mouth to speak. But actually, that's simply not true. Not true. Uh, let me just introduce uh, a little bit the theory of uh, arti- the theory of uh, human producing sounds. Yeah, basically, <clears throat> no matter uh, which language you speak, as long as you make sounds, you over uh, apply to this theory. Uh, we. We use our our lung to produce air from to to pump the air out out of your body, yeah, from your lungs to 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 your mouth, then out of your body, yeah, and we have a vocal tract. Vocal tract is like from your mouth cavity and the nasal nasal cavity and the vocal vocal folds here and to your lungs. Yeah, when you exhale, uh, yeah, exhale, then your air just pump out through your vocal folds. Then your vocal folds, uh, open and close, open and close, really, really fast, like hundred times a second or two hundred times a second to can be like five hundred times a second, depends on what kind of frequency of voice you you produce. Then they make the air pressure difference when the air pressure uh, got a difference it actually produce the sound wave yeah then you the this this kind of a sound wave will go through your mouth then actually at the same time you also manipulate your articulators to produce different types of sound what's your what are your articulators articulators are your tongue and your lips and your teeth yeah, they are major articulators. Yeah, by uh, different gesture of articulators, you can produce different sounds like different vowel I E I O yeah I O A. Yeah, different vowel. You, you see my my mouth gesture just different. That's articulator. Yeah, but no matter what, we need to pump our airs through the vocal folds and our articulators and uh, outside yeah that's the basically theory of human producing sounds no matter what language you speak yeah but why a lot of asian like we can make our articulators movement gestures very similar to western but still sounds different people still feel uh asians a lot of asian uh are i mean asian actually i, I mean here is like they really speak the mother tongue's asian language especially east asian mandarin uh, korean japanese yeah the those uh native speakers those asian languages native speakers are really speak uh, feels like it's use the mouth more but Westerners, instead, they uh, speak like really deeper, deeper sounds. Yeah, yeah. This is a really interesting thing, and I spent long time researching. Even now, I don't really have the good answer yet, but I do. Uh, I do find out what kind of tips can improve your kind of speech power. Let you speak uh, much easier in English and more powerful. Yeah, that's very important. I even research a lot of uh, you know singing theory, uh, and because a lot of the singer they want to sing in the deeper voice and the more powerful voice. Yeah, I just uh, do some research and I I finally figure out certain tips and yeah I'm going to teach you. The first tip is you need to stand still and uh, or sit still because only when you uh, 
uh, have a good posture, your vocal track can be least a block. They can be most connected. That's very important thing. Then after that, uh, when you speak, you better imagine there's a, a tube here, which is your vocal track. And you just imagine there's a space, there's a hole here, there's a tunnel. Then you want to make your tunnel as, uh, as big, as ample as possible. Then you just imagine your power actually from your lung through your thoughts, vocal thoughts, and your mouth and out. Yeah, that's basically how you imagine this. Definitely, no matter what kind of uh, position of power, source of power you imagine, you still use the same way to produce sounds. But when you really imagine your uh, voice actually come from your uh, body, you will use slightly different muscles to produce sound. That's crucial. That's the thing. When you really do that, you will feel more powerful. You feel more powerful. Yeah, just uh, uh, do do the same as me. Just follow me. Like stand still. Imagine there is a tube vocal track. Then when you speak, there is a very very uh, spacious spacious track. Air come from your lungs to vocal force to articulators and out and go out yeah it's how you should imagine and especially now I uh, basically speak English uh, all day yeah I don't have any chance to speak uh, my my mother tongue very limited so I really need to find a easier way to speak in English because like previously when I speak uh, a lot of uh, English and uh, my my actually my vocal force hurt a little bit yeah that's really uh, make a little bit problem here but when I speak Mandarin it's actually okay because maybe I know how to speak uh, uh, least effortful way use least effortful way to speak in my mother tongue but instead English I usually like uh, use more energy to speak the same same, same volume and uh, same context but just uh, I need to invest more energy and that's why I I try to find a easier way to speak in English then this is actually the way the way so yeah I'm just uh, teaching sharing with you yeah so that's all for today and what's your thoughts what's your thoughts on this do you have any tips to speak maybe much naturally in English and please share in the comment section below yeah and you if you like this kind of videos don't forget to subscribe yeah that's over for today see you next time